Hey guys, I'm the 50s Kid. The company Autool recently sent me a uh, smoke machine to check out on my channel. I told them I'd look at it. If I didn't like it, I'd send it back with a thank you, but turns out it's really awesome. So let's check it out. So here it is, the Autool SDT205S smoke leak detector. Now this company, they're out of uh, Shenzhen, China, and it looks like they're actually making their own tools here. They're, they are designing in-house and they are manufacturing and all that stuff. It's not just another like white label product, you know what I mean? And it turns out they have a bunch of different kinds of these smoke machines at, at different price points. They, they basically are, are all very similar, but some have features that others don't. Like this one actually has a, um, a flow gauge on it. This one is a, which is useful for when you're um, when you're doing checks on EVAP systems. So this one is like a little bit, little little more high end than some. You know, they have a much simpler one. I I even saw one for hundred dollars. I believe this unit is around two hundred and fifty currently with a coupon. So I mean, they have one that's as low as hundred dollars if you just want one that produces smoke. Now the reason why I was particularly interested in evaluating this unit is because I saw that it has a built-in um, air compressor. So you don't need an external air compressor in order to drive these things, which is, has been the problem with, you know, my old sort of DIY paint can style tool that I made myself years ago. That thing just, you know, it needs an air compressor. And also it's really not that robust. And, you know, the seals kind of eventually started leaking and I had to replace, a, you know, all the rubber on it after a while because it just kind of de deteriorates pretty quickly. But this thing is actually professionally built. So I'm really kind of stoked about this tool. You use, it's an oil-based, it's not a water-based fogger. So it's an oil-based, so you use mineral oil. I used uh, baby oil in this particular case. Fill it here in the fill port. The uh, fill port has an O-ring on it, which is really great. So they give you this applicator bottle, which has a little pointed tip on it. Super easy to actually dispense the, the oil in there without making a big mess. And then there's a, a, a drain port on the back. So every time you're done with it, they want you to drain the oil back into the container and not leave oil in here. That way you're always adding 20 milliliters of oil whenever you use the tool. Of course, you've got your power cables that you connect up to a 12 volt battery. This uh, has the same kind of plug as a computer, but make sure you don't plug that into the wall with your normal uh, computer power outlet thing. And then this is just a, you just kind of turn this on, you know, and it's just a rubber tube that connects to right there. And you connect that up. Comes with a little uh, Velcro strap for wrapping it up, which is really nice. Comes with this little applicator. And the, the thing that's really nice about this unit is it comes with several accessories. This being one of the really good accessories. This, if, you, if you've never seen one of these, we're gonna use it here in just a little bit because we have a car that we actually wanna diagnose. But see, this is like a little rubber balloon and it blows up and that's going to take up the space in the, um, the, the air intake. And then this is where you would introduce your smoke and then it just goes through a, a hole in the center of this right here. So then you can let the air out in order to get it out. That's a really useful accessory. And there's some more, let me show you. Now, these are little block off plugs, just depending on the vehicle, you might have to take something out and you might have to plug something up, you never know. So they give you all various sizes of plugs. So you can plug off a, a line if you need to. They give you this cone, which again is another method for um, injecting the, the smoke into something and, and blocking off the port. Sometimes you have a sort of a smaller port, you can stick this thing in there. So that's good. And another little adapter that you can you can use for uh, EVAP systems probably. And then they give you a valve core tool because when you're doing EVAP systems, there's a little Schrader valve thing that you just need to remove. And that's a Schrader valve removal tool. So that's it, that's everything. Let's go ahead and put this thing into use and see how it works. So as you can see, I've got a car prepped, ready for a test here. I've got everything from the mass airflow sensor back removed or before they met the mass airflow sensor, including the mass airflow. So we just have the intake tube right here. And the reason I'm leaving this on is because you see there's a, you know, there's a line connected to it. There's also another little line right here connected to it as well. So if I took this off and try to introduce it, you know, past here, then I'd have to block these ports off. So it's just kind of a little, a little more convenient to just do this right here. And that's where this is going to come in handy. We are going to place this inside. We're gonna close this valve off and we're just gonna blow this up. Takes a little bit, but now it has expanded fully. Make sure it's nice and tight in there. 
Cool, so now that, that, that blocked off the whole entire port, now we can introduce our smoke straight into here. So let's go ahead, get this thing hooked up to our battery. Okay, so we've got power on. I've already filled the machine with 20 milliliters of fluid and let's do smoke mode. Ooh, nice. So you see how I can regulate the air? You can see the airflow gauge right there. So sometimes you don't wanna put full air in there. Look at that, it's already producing smoke. Very nice. Okay, let me connect this in. All right, we're connected right here. Ah, the only thing I don't like you, about baby oil is it just kind of smells pretty badly. And look at this, I already see, I already see smoke coming out right there. See that? Now that is between where the mass airflow sensor is and the engine itself. That's a vacuum leak. That's pro possibly the source of all the problems I've been having with this vehicle, trying to get it to, to pass smog. Look at that right there. Let's turn this up a little bit. Are we seeing something from back here as well? I think we might be. We might have a little leak back here as well that we need to look at. Definitely one from down here. Definitely one from here. Very interesting. I'm thinking definitely something from back here as well. And we did mess with that whole system during this recent rebuild. So it looks like I'm gonna have to deal with some issues back there, deal with an issue right here. But yeah, I'm already super impressed with this machine already exposed uh, the leaks on my engine. That was super quick, super easy. I like it. So look at that. The awe tool just helped us figure out that there are two, potentially two vacuum leaks on this vehicle. I'm gonna of course go ahead and take care of those right now and I'll make sure that the car is good to go before I take it for another test drive. But what more do I really need to say about the awe tool here? Normally for machines like this cost about a thousand dollars for a professional machine like this. This one's 250. Great tool, guys. If you're interested, there are links below in the description. I'm the 50s Kid. Thanks a lot for watching.